Hello everyone, Natalia from Kyiv, Ukraine, streaming. Um, yeah, as some of you may know, I've been living in uh, Abisakan, uh, Pontypool, Wales, uh, for 20 months since the full-scale invasion of Russian Federation to Ukraine, so we have to escape um, for security reasons, me, my son and my mother-in-law, and uh, found a place of uh, sanctuary in Wales, um, which became our second home. Um, but in December 2023, uh, we returned back home to Kyiv, and now we are settling down here. So I was asked by uh, my good, 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 good friend, Mr. Uh, Pastor <laughs> John Funnel uh, to make this video uh, just to give you some updates on how life is being in Ukraine at the moment. Um, what to say? It's hard to um, give you a very short assumption, but I will try to, right? Uh, life is going on. You can see the, the cars are driving, the houses are standing, some of them. But uh, it's not the same, uh, and it's not uh, confirmed or guaranteed by any means. Unfortunately, we have um, very massive shillings from time to time. Uh, Ukraine is constantly under the missile attacks from Russia. And, uh, of course, we have people who are injured, and, of course, we have people who are killed by that attacks. Uh, but... We keep on going. For example, uh, my son, uh, yesterday, before we go to sleep, there was a ra air raid siren that we heard. So we check the information from the telegram channels that we use about the air defense forces so that we will know what is the risk and what is the location where the missile should go to. And we found that it's going to be Kyiv. So we made a slip for our son in the corridor in between two walls, uh, using the two walls room because it will keep you more safe. So he was sleeping there the whole night. He didn't want to wake up when uh, the attack was finished. Uh, successfully, there was nothing done. It was the, just a checkup by Russians. And um, But yeah, he was sleeping in the corridor on the carry mat. and. Um, this is the reality. Uh, normally, during the night time, we wake up a couple of times just to check up the channels again if there is a danger or not, so that we can keep it under a safe control. Uh, but it uh, keeps us very stressful and anxious. But anyway, uh, coming back to what I wanted to say, uh, what helps me a lot is my faith in God and Jesus Christ and uh, praying and the support of my absolutely amazing community and family of not for church in Abasakan, uh, the church I used to go to when I've been there. Uh, this is the Baptist Evangelical Church, which is full of absolutely different people, but they are so much wonderful. Every each personality, every each has its own background and story of finding the Christ, and that's why we understand each other so much. We pray for each other all the time and um, we keep this contact that gives us a very a very big hope that it will last for years and years and years until we will all meet in the eternity. So what else to say? Um, how I found it being here, uh, how, how you found it being at home. Of course it's great, it's just amazing. Um, we're united with my husband and uh, my son is very happy about his dad being around. Um, they have some things to do together. They do the football um, stuff, they go for a walk, uh, maybe they will use the bicycle soon because we're coming to the springtime, it is the last day of, of, of winter today. So it's gonna be tomorrow the 1st of March and um, it's amazing just to be together. We treasure it so much. We, we, we love being just 
just as a family so this is the most important thing and um, every Sunday uh, we go to church as a family every morning we, we continue praying uh, we continue worship uh, God and we continue uh, thank uh, thankfulness for what he is uh, helping us how he helps us to survive how he helps us uh, to be strong in our weaknesses and um, how even if we're suffering and and we really do because our hearts are breaking with this awful war um, he gives us um, strength to carry on he gives us his own love and um, it's amazing we take the communion and we also pray for those who never come back from the battlefields for those who were killed by the uh, missiles one of the ones we had a couple of weeks ago and uh, me and my son uh, evidenced that so we saw how the missile was going through the sky and uh, we saw how the air defense forces just hit it shoot it down and the remains of this missile fall down to one of the uh, buildings which is literally uh, 500 meters walk from my mother-in-law house where she used to live when she she, she was in Ukraine um, we visited the uh, place at the evening just to see how uh, ruined it was um, it unfortunately took four lives and uh, 39 people were injured so it is still uh, not guaranteed that uh, that you know you you will have this you will have uh, this life being continued but we do pray and we do hope and we do think that um, god will make a way for us and uh, i'm very much